And the standoff between the executive and the judiciary is intensifying by the day, with the Law Society of Kenya throwing its weight behind the judiciary. The lawyer's body has now given seven days to Attorney General Professor Paul Kehara Karioki and Solicitor General Kennedy Ogeto to explain why they should not be scrapped from the list of advocates and membership of the society. The LSK's counsel has endorsed their delisting subject to a fair trial. The two are blamed for the failure by President Uhuru Kenyatta to appoint 41 judges as Enoch Sikolia reports. The fate of Paul Kihara Kariuki and Kennedy Ogeto as advocates and members of the Law Society of Kenya now lies with the decision of the ordinary general meeting of the LSK slated for the 23rd of July 2020. The Society's Council wants the Attorney General and the Solicitor General expunged from its list of advocates. Paul Kihara is accused of turning against a decision of the Judicial Service Commission which declared 41 people to be appointed as judges of the Court of Appeal, the Environment and Land Court, and the Employment and Labor Court. The AG is a member of the Commission and participated in the interviews and decision-making process. We owe a duty to the Kenyan people to advise the government of the Republic of Kenya on the rule of law the administration of justice. They accuse Eji Kihara and the Solicitor General of dishonesty. The lawyer's umbrella body says the duo arranged for a meeting with the Law Society of Kenya to deliberate the subject only for the two to give a no-show. The representative they sent to the meeting refused to engage, claiming lack of authority. Prior to the meeting, the Council of the Law Society of Kenya had resolved to initiate the expunging the names of Paul Kihara and Kennedy Ogeto from the list of advocates should they fail to ensure the president complies with a high court ruling that compelled the head of state to appoint the 41 judges. It was to happen in seven days' time after the 13th of May. Well, the seven days lapsed. LSK's request was met with silence. He stood legal advice on June. A seemingly loud Chief Justice, David Maraga, chose to let his frustrations out. He too had been sharply ignored by the head of state and his legal voices. You also know that I have, for a long time now, and successfully sought to sought an appointment to discuss this issue with you leaving me with no option but to raise the matter, matter through this public statement. At least his loud cry caught the attention of Uhuru's chief legal advisor. It was on the 9th of June, but Paul Kihara Kariuki did not crowd out to defend Maraga or JSC. He came to defend his boss. Uhuru Mwegenata. Government is a calling to public service and delivery for the benefit of the people of Kenya, not grandstanding and playing to the gallery for hero status. Now, this did not sit well with lawyers. They say his actions amount to gross misconduct, subversion of the rule of law, and contravenes his duties and obligations as an advocate of the High Court of Kenya and as a member of the Law Society of Kenya. The LSK agrees that the misconduct is gross, that it warrants expulsion from the society. The government argues that intelligence reports have questioned the integrity of some of the judges okayed by JSC. The reason the president has delayed or refused to have them assume office. The constitution does not donate any mandate to the president to perform any other act upon receipt of the names recommended by the chairs except to appoint them. And who suffers as a result of the deterioration of this relationship? It is not President Huru Kenyatta. It is not Chief Justice David Maraga. It is you and I, Kenyans. The Law Society of Kenya has questioned why the AG did not bring the intelligence report as evidence to the High Court before it ruled that the judges take the new positions. They should not be attacking a process which they were part and parcel of. Enoxicolia, Citizen TV, Nairobi.